Kenichiwa. This is the Shogunstein, and this is a look at what's in the box of the new game from Funko, Kellogg's Pop Tarts game. And we got a copy of this to review from the Amazon Vine program. So, in the interest of full disclosure, we were given a review copy from Amazon Vine program. Big fan of the uh, the Pop Tarts. My favorite flavor, of course, is pizza and every once in a while they have like the chicken pot pie or the uh buffalo chicken on the limited uh, edition so i'm a little confused on why it says kellogg's because i thought it was chef america and then later nestle obviously one of my favorite comedians brian regan has an awesome bit on the instructions for pop tarts and of course the great jim gaffigan who eats way too many pop Hearts. This game is from uh, Funko, who has uh, been hitting it out of the park lately. Uh, Pan Am was uh, probably my favorite game in quite a while, and that's one of their games. Love the Pan Am. And then they also had the Godzilla game, which was quite fun too, but I really do like that Pan Am. And they also have a uh, Back to the Future game, which we'd like to try. We have the other Back to the Future game, but there are actually two, so I'm looking forward to the, uh, to the Funko Version. So anyway, let's take a look at what's in the uh, box for Pop-Tarts. As we know, Pop-Tarts came around in the 1970s, but then they got big in the uh, 80s. And we know we have all kinds of varieties, including uh, the regular, the lean, the uh, breakfast, and uh, they even have their own uh, like uh, mascot, and that's uh, Herbie. So let's take a look at what's in the Pop-Tart uh, box here. It's a very small box, and if we open it, you kind of get, it looks like the, the Pop-Tart wrapper. You know, you, you put the thing in that, like, sleeve, and then you put it in the, the microwave, so it looks like that wrapper that uh, you get with the, the Pop-Tart, and of course, you don't know if you want to toast it or if you want to eat it right out of the box. So we have some instructions here, and it's a little instruction book. So it doesn't look like it's going to be that complicated of a game. Now, one of the things that I have noticed is looking through it and then reading about the game also on the interwebs, it seems like uh, there are some similarities between this and uh, one of our favorite games, which is Guillotine. So I, I think we're going to have that sort of line of cards where you're going to be moving cards and have to take from the, the top. In this case, actually, I think you take from both ends as there is the toaster side and then there's going to be the, uh, you know, right out of the box side. And I don't know if there's a microwave side. And then sometimes you got that cleanup, especially if you have like the pepperoni pizza uh, pop tart and uh, it goes all over the place. But again, I really like the, the box and the theme. It really looks like the Pop-Tart wrapper. So this is, of course, a card game. So we're mostly going to have cards. And we have a big stack of cards here. And again, a very thematic-looking box with that, again, sort of the inside of the, the wrapper. And we have a ton of cards. So... This is where it kind of reminds me of Guillotine, because with Guillotine, you have those cards where you can uh, move things around, change the direction, you know, get rid of the nobles and the generals and the, the peasants. So I think there is definitely some similarities there, which is a good thing, because that's an awesome game. We're big fans of Guillotine. So we have a whole bunch of these sort of uh, directional cards. Swap any two pop tart cards that are in that. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is very much like uh, guillotine. All right, card quality is pretty good. Definitely pretty good card quality. And again, you got the pop tart uh, logo there. I wonder if they got the lean and they got the the breakfast ones. And then I'm going to say this looks like some kind of higher scoring or some sort of bonus or the different flavors. And again, same thing. Are we toasting them or are we eating them right from the, the wrapper? So again, I'm going to guess that this is some sort of almost like a bonus. 
sure what. Oh, maybe this is like a first player token. And of course, this should be. So this is like the wrap. Oh yeah, so we got all our different flavors. This looks like the like the black and white or the fudge. Probably some kind of where you're going to keep score, whether you ate them right from the container or you toasted them. That's what we guess these are. And then again, we have all different kinds of flavors of Pop-Tarts. They have some sort of numeric value. So it's basically cards. I'm not sure what the MSRP is on this game, but I imagine with Funko, this is going to be the type of game that is probably going to go into a target at some point and then eventually get to a uh, friendly local game store. Or again, we got this off Amazon Vine. Oh, so it is by Prospero Hall. So not only is it being made by Funko, Prospero Hall is just killing it with thematic games like Jaws and Horrified. So they're just, uh, when it comes to IPs, Prospero Hall is really just knocking it out of the the park. So again, this is a look at what's in the box for the Pop-Tart game. And again, uh, all different kinds of flavors, mostly uh, cards. And again, I'm uh, still looking for the pepperoni pizza flavor. But uh, looks fun. And if it is like Guillotine, that's a good thing because Guillotine is a great game. Uh, this theme is obviously uh, going to probably appeal to more people than uh, French Revolution game. And again, uh, Funko and Prospero Hall have just been knocking it out of the park. And uh, certainly a lot of the games go right to Target. And uh, they're great games. So race to grab the most Pop-Tarts. All right. Well, I better get the Pop-Tart before Jim Gaffigan does. Anyway, this is the Shogunstein out.